Welcome to this guide to production chains on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Production chains, the basics. We're going to start off with the basics uh, and have a look at the options, the screens, what we need to do, what things affect which. Now, the production chains um, overview that we got a while back has the screen, which if I remember, I'll put up now, um, that shows all the different products that go in and come out of the various different facilities. Now, I'm going to do two fairly straightforward ones. I'm going to do grain mill. I'm going to put wheat in, so we'll get flour out. The flour will go to the bakery, because that's where it goes to. The other one, I'm hoping to do canola and put it into the oil mill, because that will produce oil. Now, obviously, there are other ones in these chains that are more complicated um, the bakery for example if you're going to be put into the bakery to do cakes that takes a whole load of different things um, so this is why this is the basics once you understand the basics the screens how it works the rest of it will then hopefully slot into place now here's a couple of things we need to do first hang on right I'm gonna have the um, help window open at the bottom we don't need the map open bottom left that's fine at the moment and I've put the interactive markers back on now I've bought my wheat up, so if you just want to play the game, you want to do your harvest and you want to go and sell it, there are sell points all over the map, you can just take your grain, take your crop, wherever the sell point is that you want to take it to and just sell your crop. That's the first step of anything you want to do, you can just sell it. If I tip in here now at the grain mill, price will go up in the top, money will go up in the top corner, as you just saw. 1,115 harvest income. So I'm up here. This is a production chains building. We're at the grain mill, but I don't own it yet. So what I need to do, if I'm going to do production chains, I need to own the building. So I'm going to buy it. 96 grand. If you're wondering how I've got so much money in the top corner, I did use the um, infinite money, loads of money, multiplayer cheat, um, because when I'm doing videos like this and... and uh, map tools and all those kind of things it makes life a little bit easier but anyway that being said so now because I've also got my field info on so you can see bottom right now I own this building it's telling me grain mill owned by me wheat flour running it says barley flour oat flour sorghum flour I haven't bought any of those there um, and at the moment it's saying well actually what I already put in because well that's a bit dodgy I'm not going to knock it if you tip a full load and then buy it, I got paid for it and it's actually in there. Okay. <laughs> That's a welcome bonus, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the screen that it now produces. Because until you do that, this screen here that says production chains is blank. Until you own a building, that will be blank. Now I've bought the grain mill, this screen comes up. And this is important. So the, the um, four inputs, wheat, barley, oat, and sorghum, we've just put wheat flour in. I'm going to add some more in a moment. And if we go across the other side, you can see that we've got wheat, 1,517 litres. I'm going to tip the entire tray load in because we're going to need that. And then we go down, and our outgoing product is flour. So the grain mill is producing flour. Fantastic. It is running cycles per hour. Five. I'm not quite sure what that exactly means. Um, but anyway, cost per hour is a dollar. Now, each of the production chains building, depending on what they're doing, the, the cost per hour will be different. So there is a cost. There's a production cost of doing this that will tick along. No difference to hiring a worker or anything like that. Um, so at the moment, my outgoing products, it says sorting, uh, storing. Bottom left, it says change output mode. So when it's in storing, it will go up and up and up till it hits a thousand liters and it will put a pallet out here which we're going to do we're going to do that we'll speed up time we'll get a pallet so if you put it on storing it will put the pallets at the front and then you can do what you want with those pallets you can store them away you can take them off yourself to be shipped um or you can take them and ship them yourself put them onto a trailer whatever you want to do with them it's entirely up to you so we'll go back into that menu if I now go change input and put it on selling, what will happen is I could have just sold my wheat and got a price for it. But if I want to sell my flour, 
what this will now do is once the flowers produced it will get to now i think it did about 600 liters it didn't go all the way to a thousand but every time it builds up to a certain amount it automatically sells it for you now there'll be a set price and that will fluctuate and it will be different i would think on every map as well it's difficult to test it because obviously there's lots of places on the map you can go and sell your flower. Once you've got your pallets of flower, you can take them off and you can sell them at any sell point that will take flower. So when you're selling it here, what you're doing is you just put it in, you own the, the factory, and the factory's just selling it on. Um, obviously it's not going to know which one of those places, I think it just takes an average or it might take the lowest, or but it, it will sell it for a set amount. And obviously moving forward, every map will be different, you know, the other option then is change output mode to distributing. Now, flour, in our case, any flour you make will go to the bakery. If you put it on distributing, that will distribute the flour you're making to the bakery, which is the other step we're going to do in a moment. And then we're going to move on with another one. So the three steps, storing, it makes pallets, selling, it will just sell the flour directly at a set price and then distributing it will send the flour off to the bakery now you don't have to do anything as far as i know there's not a cost for that i think the cost per hour is just built into production um but it will send it off to the bakery which we're going to see in just a moment but what i'm going to do is put it back on storing i'm going to speed up time and we'll see a pallet get put out first of all as you can see bottom right that is flying up i've got it set at 120 so we are going fairly fast and i did put the rest of the wheat in so it was 40,000 liters any second now there we go there's our first full pallet if i go over to it with the field info open owned by mr uh, my farm 230 kilograms flour 1000 liters now it's obviously walloping up now moving on to the next one so what i'm going to do now Go back into this menu and this time I'm going to switch it from storing. Selling, it just sells. You'll get an amount, it will pop up. I mean, that's fairly kind of um, self explanatory. I don't, probably don't need to show that. But I'm going to put the output mode onto distributing. Now, when I tested this, what I also did was went over and purchased the bakery because I'm not sure. And this is, you know, this is one thing I think maybe we'll test now as well. Is will it still send it to the bakery? If I don't own the bakery, if I distribute my flour, if I just leave it now and don't own it, when I then go to buy it, will all that flour be sat there or will all that disappear into the ether? So what I'm going to do now is test that as well. I'm going to speed up time. When it gets to 4,000 litres, we'll then go to the bakery will buy the bakery and see if that thousand litres is sitting there because I'm, I'm worried that if you accidentally put it onto distributing and you don't own the next building in the chain all that flour you've made or whichever pro product it is you're doing will vanish the other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to take my trailer I'm going to go and grab the canola and I'm going to take that over to the um, oil mill so we can start that process and then you'll also be able to see on the production chains menu multiple production chains all open at the same time so you can kind of see how you can manage multiple ones as we go uh, that is the plan so what we'll do first then let's speed that up when that hits a thousand i'll slow it back down again i'll do all those other bits off camera and then we'll go over to the bakery we'll go to the oil for, oh, the oil mill and we'll set up the other ones and we'll, we'll look at the next processes in the chain. So that is fairly straightforward. That's the three processes, storing, selling or distributing. Right, so that's just building up. So if that's distributing, it's not doing a pallet, so it's not gone to a thousand. So as far as I'm aware, that 1,200, 300 that's at the bottom right hand corner that will be going off to the bakery i'm going to slow time down because i'm now panicking <laughs> i'll put it on half um i'll see you in a minute i'll get down there i'll get the canola and we'll go to the bakery and we'll see the next step the great thing about it is you don't have to be here to access this you can do it from the main menu plus if you go to the bakery we'll see in a minute um it shows kind of everything all on one little menu it's very very handy having that field info on because not only does it give field info it gives info on absolutely everything so it's it's absolutely phenomenally good right
Right, we are here at the oil mill. Now I've only got 10,570 litres of canola. I'm hoping that's going to be enough for at least one pallet. Um, I'm not going to tip it in there because I need to own the factory first to use the production. Now, I'm going to do the oil first, then we'll go back over to the bakery because I want to get multiple processes going at the same time. Bearing in mind, to speed up time to show you all this, it's already 11 o'clock in the morning. So I want to get this process going. To buy this factory, it's going to cost me 80 grand. So to get the productions underway, it's, it's a tricky one. There you go. It's telling me I own it. All those different things, sunflower, canola and olives are all missing at the moment, but I'm going to put some canola in right now. The number plate thing is a bit of a problem as well at the moment. I'm having real issues with that not seeming to want to work properly. Turn the engine off. So that should now say that we've got canola in there. Canola oil is running. So what we'll do is we'll go to the menu again. And let's have a look at it. So let's go up to our production chains. So now I've got the top grain mill and below it, oil mill. I can click onto my canola oil and you can see there on the right hand side, canola 10,569. At the moment it's producing it. The direct transfer, there's nothing else in this recipe. It's just taking that canola and making it into canola oil. This is a bit more expensive to do this operation. Status running. It doesn't seem to be ah oh, that's i don't know because i was gonna say does it need all three but it can't need all three surely um if we're gonna do canola oil we can store it it will do pallets selling it we can sell it directly now that one distributing the canola oil doesn't go anywhere else um with the flour that can go onto the bakery but canola oil makes its pallets of oil you can then sell that at loads of different locations, but it's not used further on the production chain, so it's not used for anything else. You have to be careful of distributing when you're on that, because when I tried it earlier on with the bakery, it didn't do anything. It didn't go anywhere, because again, with the bakery, there are a few different sell points that take the bread, and it doesn't know where it's distributing it to. Now, it hasn't given me an option. Now, I don't know again. Monday, when Monday rolls around tomorrow or midnight, if there's an update, will there be an option to distribute it to each individual sell point? You can pick which one you go to. At the moment, it doesn't give me that option. If I, like I say, if I click on distributing, it doesn't say where do you want to distribute it to. It will just kind of sit there. Oh, now we've got one litre. There we go. It's going to take a little bit longer, I think, to do this one. So I'm going to change the output back to storing. So what we should get later on, we should get a pallet of olive oil sitting here. What we're going to do is whiz around the corner to the bakery. We'll activate the bakery and we'll see what's happening with our flour because that's all very interesting to do. So yeah, if you've got a, if you've got a very definite, the next step in your production chain will be a process then you can distribute it and it will go to that place to be processed. If it's the end of a process and it's just on then to selling, just be wary of that. Like I say, we may get an update, but what I will say is at the time of recording this, which is on Sunday the 21st, um, this the full game should release at midnight or on Monday, and there's all different times that it will be releasing around the globe. Uh, I know some people got their, their copies, hard copies, early. They turned up yesterday. Some of people got them today. It seems to be very random all over the place what's happening. Some people are being told their hard copies aren't going to be coming until later in the month or even December. Um, I know it's very frustrating for everybody. I, I don't have the answers. I'm not Amazon. I'm not any of the company's game or anyone that, that distribute. But, um, yeah, I, I'm sorry if that's the case. Now... What do we say? We're going to check this. Now, when we buy this, the um, bakery, will the stuff we distributed be there in the menu? That's the first thing we need to be looking at. Because when I when I tested this, I bought it outright. I just bought it and thought, well, I'm going to need it. I'll buy it. Um, didn't think of that. So that's what we're testing now. So we're going to buy it for 50 grand. If we go and look at it now. Ah, everything's empty. That's a worry. Right, okay, so let's go and check on our bread then. So our factory, we've just bought the bakery. 
and that's on the right hand side is showing zero flour so that flour from the grain mill that came up as distributing never got here it, it never arrived um, if we go up to here it's on distributing 1403 litres but because we didn't own the bakery that hasn't arrived here you know what I think it might be and this is good this has popped up actually because this will answer a question I suppose if it happens to anybody else it could be because it tripped out it's showing distributing but there's already 428 litres which it can't like automatically do if I put it now change output to storing if I let it get to its full thousand litres and then change it to distributing so it sticks another pallet out at the grain mill then it should trip that should tick over I'm I'm very surprised because like I say this worked perfectly before it's gonna be one of those little foibles isn't it I think because I was in the menu when I changed it all I had to come out of the menu so to this point and look down to the bottom and bottom right it was already showing that there was flour there and bread was being produced I thought oh okay that's weird went back into the menu and it's running I just had to come out of here and it seemed to kind of reset itself so we have got our grain mill now is producing flour is set on distributing which it's now doing it's distributing it to the bakery because we own it we come across that's the flour that's coming in from the grain mill and the recipe to make bread you just need flour it doesn't need anything else so bread it's storing at the moment it's storing which will give us pallets of bread now again we can set this to selling so we can sell our bread straight from the bakery and make some money distributing like I said that didn't do anything because this is the end of the line there are sell points but there's no more production from here it doesn't go on to another production point again that may change if it's an update but distributing at the end point of production chain I wouldn't touch so storing we'll get some pallets again what we'll do now our, some, our canola oil that's producing we've got 118 litres of that I'm going to speed up time so what should happen is the grain mill will continue to make its flour it's going to continue to distribute it to the bakery the bakery will turn that into bread and we'll get some bread pallets we'll also get some sunflower oil pallets or canola oil some oil pallets we'll get some oil pallets um, so I'll speed up time and I'll see you in a bit so what I did was sped up time to the following day um, when I got to the first pallet of uh, bread it was dark it was pitch black so I thought what I'll do is just skip right the way forward and what we'll do is we'll go from the bakery to the oil factory and then we'll go up to the grain mill we can look at the pallets that have been produced but you can see from the menu here um, our bread is now being produced we've still got our incoming material from the grain mill we've got 9759 litres of flour at the moment and it's just gone over to another pallet so it's starting the next pallet of bread our canola oil it's got 605 litres of the next pallet um, so yeah we did produce more than one no problem at all and if we continue on up our list we can see that our wheat flour is still being produced and it is still processing distributing out to the bakery but I can switch that anytime if I want to if I go to that if I've decided right the bakery's got enough bread I've got all I needed for whatever I was going to do that's fine now obviously with the bakery if we go back down to that one have a look and come across this side if you were going to decide to do cake rather than just flour coming in and the recipe on, on the left of that just says flour you click onto these now if I was going to do cake I need everything strawberries butter eggs milk sugar that's why I picked bread because it was straightforward to show and that's why I said production um, chains basics because this is technically basics but that's what our bread pallets look like each one 1000 litres again really nicely made they look the bread on there looks fantastic doesn't it I mean that looks absolutely amazing so two pallets of 1000 litres which has come over that's great I can take those off now to the various different cell points if I want to 
whatever I want to do with them. I could have sold the bread directly, like I say, if I'd have chosen to sell rather than store, I could have sold it, um, but I can take that off now, especially if you're doing storylines and stuff like that, and you're taking bread off. Uh, that's why I love the whole production chains thing. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, we'll go back up to the top then. We'll jump across to the other two, and let's have a look. Um, we want to go to our oil mill. So our oil mill, we've got our first pallet again, that same. 930 kilograms, 1,000 litres of canola oil, that's the first pallet. The next one, it does say, is running, 606 litres. The next one will be coming at some point soon. So our canola oil is being produced as well. Again, distributing that on, that is, there's no production line on from here. You can take that pallet, I can take it to a sell point and sell it wherever we'll take it. And then if we go to, uh, all the way up to there, because when we first started out, we left it running for a little bit. We should have, there we go. We've got three pallets of flour sitting here. So I can take that flour elsewhere. I mean, I can take that flour down to the bakery if I want to. Um, but if I want to sell the flour elsewhere, anywhere that will take it, I can take my flour on. Um, I hope that was fairly straightforward. And like I say, the menu's pretty, you know, once you see it in a bit more detail than just the pictures we got originally, and you see it in operation, and you see the fact you've got those options to do, you know, whether you're going to store it, sell it, distribute it, but also the fact that you've got a start of a production line and the end of a production line, you know, choosing what to do with that. And you might get those odd things if you do set it up like I did and nothing seemed to be happening, just popping out of the menu um, into the, the real world, if you want to call it that, um, will help. And like I said earlier, having that filled um, info screen open really, really helps to look at stuff at a glance and know what you've got, what's running, you know. But if you want to go for a more immersive feel, of course you can turn that off. Um, I hope that's been helpful. I hope it's a basic introduction to production chains. Um, if you found it useful and helpful and handy in some way, shape or form, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Farm Dog thanks you and so do I.